has to be one of the most hilarious woke backfires that we have seen come out of Hollywood yet. This is the epitome of you reap what you sow, get woke, go broke. So actor Kamal Nanjani is angry. Only white guys are playing villains these days. And it gets even more hilarious as he goes into an entire meltdown tirade over this entire thing. So Kamal Nanjani was told people don't want to cast non-white actors as villains. The Eternals actor suggested suggest progressive-minded Hollywood decision makers are limiting the kinds of roles that people of color can play. <laughs> like I said, this is like this is a total backfire. So let's get into this whole story here. Privileged, humorless, affirmative action recipient and infamous Kamal Nanjani is always crybabying about something. Now he's mad because Hollywood's understandably terrified that members of the woke Gestapo, like Kamal Nanjani, Ninjani, will get upset if someone other than a white guy is cast as a villain. I think that Hollywood now, even though they're trying to be more diverse, is still weird, the actor says. The problem then, Johnny wagers, is that good intentions can sometimes lead to misguided solutions. See, it's never good enough for these people. They, they, they want to live in a world that is so perfect in their eyes that is completely unachievable and completely unrealistic. This is what happens when you grow up with the most privileged, uh, self-entitled mentality that we have ever seen in the history of the world. That is exactly the type of people that Kamal is. If the bad guy is a brown guy, what message is that sending? And that's just as limiting as anything else. He says, I want to play more bad guys. I want to play more bad guys, but nobody wants to cast him because they're terrified. Everyone's walking on eggshells now in this new woke world that we're living in. And because they know that no matter what they do, there's going to be some sort of outrage from people like him. Nanjani would like a career as varied as his Marvel stablemate Sebastian Stan, who can flip from superhero to serial killer. Nanjani watched Fresh in which Stan plays a charming organ harvesting cannibal. He does these big Marvel movies and then he'll play a psychopath. I was told that's going to be hard because people don't want to cast non-white actor non-white people as bad guys. <laughs> this is the ultimate self-own. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. And I don't feel bad for these people. I don't feel bad for people like Kamal who can't get roles as act or as villains because people in Hollywood don't want to cast him as such. I'm sorry this is happening to you. Say what it's like crying yourself to sleep on a bed made of gold and Kleenex made of million dollar bills at night. You know these anti-art Nazis have been running around for years, decades really, whining about typecasting, which has always been a lie. In popular culture, straight white guys have almost always been either the villain or the arc villain behind the black or brown villains. But now the woke McCarthyism, a religion Ninjani spreads like Elmer Gantry on meth, has made movies and TV so predictable that skin color and sexual orientation and automatically tell us who's virtuous and who's not. Now that Elmer and Nanjani got everything he wished for, he's still crybabying. What do you want? You have everyone terrified. If they dare ask you to play a villain, they have to worry, and not without cause, that they will end up in your Twitter blacklist barrel. 110%. You've brought this on yourself, Kamal. You and all of your woke constituents in Hollywood, you have brought this on yourself. And do you think it's going to get any better? These people don't seem to realize that the whole woke ideology is actually harmful to them. It is actually damaging to them and to actual progress that this country to be, could be making. The woke ideology is not progress. It is completely regress. It is completely the stripping of freedom, the stripping of free thought and, and actual diversity. But of course, these people can't say anything about that. They have to continue to just go with the narrative, the Hollywood narrative that is out there. So anyway, with all that being said, let me know what you think about what Kamal Johnny says here in this interview. This is absolutely hilarious in so many ways. With that being said, I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.